What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today I have something very special I want to show to you guys and that is the Real McCoy Ranch. Now you guys have seen me hunt down there several times. You saw me um, shoot some hogs, shoot an axis buck, and shoot a red stag doe. If you have not seen those videos, I will link them in the description below and you guys will want to click on those, check those videos out, and just kind of see a, um, a little bit of what this ranch looks like, kind of what it's about. But in this episode, I'm going to take you guys even further than that. I want to show you guys the ins and outs of this place and how incredible it is. Over the last, I don't know, probably six, seven, maybe even eight years, um, I have been on a lot of different ranches. And I've done a ton of hunting. And it's really cool to experience these other ranches. Um, I've done a lot of work on several different ranches. One being 20,000 acres, which I fill feeders on. You guys see me film uh, some videos out there every so often. And um, unfortunately, um, through a series of events, I have not been able to get back out to this one particular ranch where I used to do some work. I used to be out there all the time. And the ranch just kind of um, went downhill and instead of um, giving or, or selling exotic hunts and whitetail hunts and the whole um, nine yards they basically got rid of all the exotics blah 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 and um, that's not really the point of this video but you know I, I say all that um, just so you guys kind of have um, a, a background or you have an understanding of my background and um, kind of where I've come from and you know all, all these different ranches that I've hunted on and worked on um, for you guys uh, I'm sure a bunch of you have heard of the uh, Callahan Ranch down in Laredo. I've hunted on that ranch a couple of times. It is a an absolute blast. Um, I hunted on a certain section called the McFadden section, and it was um, some incredible hunting, bow hunting, rifle hunting. It didn't really matter. Um, that was a super cool deal. One of those hunts that I got to go on there. But for the most part, um, all these ranches have been within 10-15 minutes of my hometown here in Meridian, which is cool. So I've gotten to hunt um, a lot of different places in this county, um, more than I can even remember and probably count. Um, on a lot of these ranches, I got to guide hunts, I got to do deer drives, I got to do all kinds of really cool things that I wouldn't have gotten to experience otherwise. And um, I had some connections um, through, to these ranches and that sort of deal. And so I was I, you know, very blessed to, to travel around and um, be a part of these ranches and and help them with their management programs help them um, with their hunts you know guide hunts and stuff like that and I even got to hunt myself of course I say all that to um, kind of lead into this this ranch the real McCoy ranch in McCoy Texas which is 45 minutes south of San Antonio has been one of the most um, hospitable um, just all around nice and amazing ranches that I've ever been on and I've been on a bunch of them and it's from high fence to low fence 2,000 acres 500 acres to 20,000 acres I've hunted on them all big and small um, so I know kind of the ins and outs of a lot of these ranches and I've gained a lot of knowledge which um, you know I kind of want to start sharing that with some of you guys um, on the on the hunting side of just kind of the things that I've done before and some of the experiences that I've had, that sort of thing. I, I will share that in some later videos, but um, basically, like I said before, I wanted to give you guys um, kind of a background of where I've been and kind of what I've done and leading up to um, hunting the Real McCoy Ranch back in March of 2018 when I shot my Red Stag and I shot my Axis Buck. The Real McCoy Ranch has been one of those places that as soon as you show up, I remember my very first time there, of course, I wasn't filming, but as soon as I pulled up, I was with Dylan Gage from Rock Bluff Outdoors. As soon as we pulled up into the driveway, we get out of the truck, and we walk over to the ranch owner. And his name is Jerry Nino. Now, I've, I've never had met Jerry up until this point. I'd never talked to him, anything like that. And right out of the box, you know, of course, he's just waiting there, um, waiting on us to pull up. He's standing there, and as soon as we get out, he's got a huge smile on his face. Now, <clears throat> I will give you guys a little bit of... Um, a little bit of a background there. Um, Dylan from Rock Bluff Outdoors, that's actually his uncle. So Dylan has hunted down there a bunch over the last uh, three or four years. And so that's kind of how I was able to go down there 
and and do some hunting. Dylan and Gage uh, had both been down there, and they had both been telling me stories about the real McCoy. They were like, "Man, you gotta get down there. You gotta come hunt. You got to. You got to. You got to." And so I saved up some money, and I was like, "You know what? I've been wanting an axis buck for a really long time. That's the number one animal on my list to shoot with a bow." And the way it happened is incredible. But anyway, um, <laughs> moving forward, um, it was just, it, it, like I said, as soon as we get out of the truck, it's just immediately, um, Jerry felt like family to me. He felt like um, a man that I had known all my life. He felt like my own uncle um, who, you know, I've done some hunting with and blah, blah, blah. But as we uh, spent time with Jerry throughout the weekend, um, I felt like I had known this guy for 10 years like well, he's just been friends best friends relatives whatever for a long time so if you guys want to go down to the real mccoy ranch i promise you you will not be disappointed when you leave that ranch even if you didn't get to take an animal you will still leave that place feeling um, accomplished you will leave that ranch feeling um better you will leave with a smile on your face because the hospitality from Jerry and his family and his son, Brennan, is just, it's, it was uh, incredible. You know, the, the place to stay is, is super nice, which I'm only giving you guys a little bit of uh, footage from a new little portion that has been put in for uh, people to sleep. But there is a new hunting cabin, a new hunting lodge coming that's going to be unreal. So I'm very, very excited to see the progress of... The hunting cabin and getting to stay in it myself and going down and hunting i know a lot of you guys have asked me about when i'm going back down and i'm going back down in october i'm going to shoot a black buck and i'm very very excited about that my mom will also be going on that hunt with me and she will be trying to take a black buck herself so we're both very excited about that hunt we'll both be bow hunting and it'll be um, most likely it'll be her second or third animal with a bow and so um, the, the tension and, and the nerves are going to be high, but it's going to be so, so much fun. Anyway, um, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's crazy. It gets me excited just talking about the real McCoy Ranch because, um, I don't know if I've ever told you guys before, but South Texas is one of my most favorite places to hunt. So if somebody just walked up to me and said, Hey, here's you a ginormous bag of money, go buy land somewhere. It would be in South Texas. Um, I, I don't know why. Um, I just love the area. I love the, um, the type of hunting, the style of hunting, you can spot and stalk, you can hunt over feeders, you can um, rifle hunt, you can bow hunt, and the animals are just plentiful. Um, not only just in South Texas in general, but if you go and hunt the real McCoy Ranch and you're bow hunting or rifle hunting or whatever you may be doing, you are guaranteed to see animals, at least five different species. And that's what's so cool about sitting in the stand is seeing God's creation right in front of you. So for me, like I could, I could care less if I get to shoot an animal when I go sit in the stand. You know, I love to bring footage to you guys and I love to film and these kill shots and that sort of thing. But sometimes just going and sitting in the stand, watching the sunrise or watching the sunset is one of the most um, incredible things. And it's so peaceful. It's so quiet. And sometimes you don't get to see the wildlife, but a lot of times even even if it's just birds, you know, you're sitting there and just watching these animals and you're like, man, this is incredible, you know, and, and to sit there and, and to experience that, um, I know the majority of us have, but there's some people out there that watch these videos and, and they talk down, they talk bad about what I do, about what we as the hunting community do as a whole, and they've never experienced it. They've never gone and sat in a stand and watched the sunrise. They've never froze their butt off or sweated their butt off sitting in a stand, and that's all part of the experience, you know. As it, it can be hot and it can be miserable. It can be cold and it can be miserable, but at the same time, it's just the fact that, man, I'm outside. I'm in God's creation, and it's and it's beautiful. And it's, um, am I freezing or am I sweating? Yes, but the environment and watching everything come to life is so incredible to me. Now. If you guys are looking for that sort of experience and you want to see a tremendous amount of animals, I'm talking 30, 40, even 50, 60 animals plus a sit, this is the place to go. Now, I've mentioned to, to you guys before, um, if there is an animal that you want to hunt and Jerry does not have it on the McCoy Ranch, he can get it. 
So that's that's one of the coolest things about this ranch is, and, and Jerry is he has so many connections with so many people all over the state of Texas that if there's an animal that you want to hunt, he can get it for you and you can go out there and you can hunt it, whether that be spot and stalk, whether that be sitting over feet or whatever you um, choose to do. It is a 100% possibility, and that was, that was one of the coolest things about this place. Um, I've hunted some high fence ranches, and it's been some of the toughest hunting that I've ever done. Um, I, out there on the McCoy Ranch, you know, I, I hunted my axis buck, and I sat for three, three and a half days, something like that. I moved stands. I mean, I'm, I'd be moving stands in the middle of the night trying to set up on these animals. I hunt every morning, hunt every evening, trying to do it, trying to get it done for you guys. And it was incredibly difficult. So while people think that high fence hunting is, is so, it's so easy and, and it's it's just unfair and blah, 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 it's really not. Um, you can go and you can sit in a stand and that feeder can throw corn. But if an animal doesn't want to come to it, they're not going to come to it. And that was so cool about hunting axis deer in general. And it doesn't matter where you go, low fence, high fence. They're so skittish. And that has to do with um, where they're from and animals that prey on them and, and all all that comes into play but anyway um both of the both of my hunts the red stag hunt and the axis hunt came together in ways that have never happened before now whether it was just because i was lucky or what i don't know but um i was fortunate enough to take both of those animals in the same weekend and it was an incredible experience now that i have a little bit better um knowledge of the ranch and I have a little bit better understanding of the layout and where these axis deer move through um, I will be going back out there at some point maybe this year maybe next year I don't know just yet but I want to shoot another axis um, and it's it's gonna be really cool because this time I'm gonna do it uh, differently you know whether that be spot and stock or whether it be sitting in a tree stand I'm gonna do it a little bit different from the previous time now moving forward after saying all of that um, after hunting all these ranches and being on all these high fence places and low fence places and working on all these ranches and the accommodations and stuff like that, this ranch um, by far takes the cake. Um, by the, the number of animals that you see, the accommodations, and then here's another uh, thing that I wanted to talk about, number three, and this is going to be um, the, the food. So if you guys like to eat and you like boudin and you like... Um, all the helpings you like, um, steak and blah, 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 whatever you want, that's what you get. So that's one of the coolest things about this place is the food is incredible. Now, I have been on some ranches that have served some really good food, but um, there's there's nothing quite like coming back from sitting in the stand or doing some hunting or whatever, coming back and Jerry having dinner cooked up for you. And man, let me tell you what, there's almost nothing better than sitting in camp with your buddies, with your friends, family, whatever the case may be, sitting around a fire and enjoying dinner, talking about your hunt, so on and so forth. Um, the food is incredible. So you guys, you don't have to worry about the food. It is top notch, very, very good. And um, breakfast being one of my favorites, of course. So if you guys come down and hunt, which I will leave all the information linked down below in the description, I will leave Jerry's phone number. I will leave a price list for you guys. And I will leave everything that um, you may need to know about getting out onto this ranch and doing some hunting for yourself. Now, number f the fourth thing that I wanted to talk about was the layout of the land. So whenever I think South Texas, I think mesquites and cactus. And this place is just that. And on top of that, I also think senderos, you know, roads, that sort of uh, style of hunting. And that's exactly what it is. It's one of my most favorite things is stepping out of the truck and looking out and seeing mesquites and cactus and roads cut through it. It's, um, I don't know what it is about it. I just love South Texas. I love the, the layout of the land. I love the way it looks. Um, I love the weather. Everything that has to do with South Texas, spot on. And you guys, if you want to do some spot stock, if you want to do sitting over feeders, Whatever style of hunting you want to do, you can do it. Now, it's um, it's one of those places that's it's, it's very special to me. But what makes it so special to me is the relationships that I've built um, with Jerry and with uh, Brennan, 
which is his son, and also the the property, the layout of the land, the animals that I've taken, I will have memories for the rest of my life on the real McCoy Ranch, and that's one of the coolest things to me is um, the memories, which is why I film my hunts, guys, and I, and I bring this footage to you, and it's not just so that you guys can enjoy and um, see the entire experience with me, but also so I can go back and I can pull up on my hard drive or I can pull up on the TV or I can pull up on a computer and I can just rewatch these hunts and relive these memories that of course will never leave my head, but will be there um, in video form forever, um, I hope. <laughs> so it, it's, you know, it's cool to be able to um, relive these hunts through the, the filming aspect and that's why I wanted to share all this f footage with you guys. I wanted to do a promotional video because this this place, um, you guys will not be disappointed. Everything from all dad, black buck, axis, scimitar horned, oryx, whitetail, hogs, um, the list goes on and on and on. And of course, like I said and mentioned before, Jerry can get anything that you want, um, whether that be any sort of rams, um, any other exotics, he can get his hands on these animals if you guys want to come down and hunt. With all that being said, let me know. Um, drop a comment down below for those of you guys that follow me on Instagram. Um, shoot me a message on Instagram and say, hey, you know, um, I want to come down on these dates and so on and so forth. And, and I'll set it up for you. So you guys just let me know. Um, let me know your dates. Let me know what y'all want to do. And I will relay the information to Jerry. Or, um, like I said, um, just a few minutes ago, you guys can contact Jerry. You can call him or text him um, through the number that I will leave a link in the description. However however you guys want to do it, um, I'll leave, I try to do my best to respond to every single message and every single comment. And um, I feel like I do that very well. And so I see everything. So if you guys want to try to put together some sort of group hunt, and bring a group of you guys down to the real McCoy, and we go and hunt for uh, a certain amount of days. I know there's a couple of you guys that are watching right now that have talked about going down and doing some hunting and wondered if I was going to be there. And um, the thing about it is, is I would absolutely love to be there. So, guys, I want to come and I want to put y'all in videos, and I want to come and hunt and um, shoot animals myself, of course. And on top of that, which would be even cooler, even better, is to film you guys and, sh you know, throw you all up on the channel and, and, and just experience the ranch and experience everything with me. And, and I think that's super cool because, you know, like I said, I, I try to build relationships with you guys in the comment sections, um, through Instagram, and so on and so forth. And so I think it would be really cool, um, as much as a lot of us... Um, through social media talk about hunting I think it'd be really cool to get a bunch of y'all down there um, you know, whatever animals you may want to shoot and uh, just enjoy camp together um, just do like a YouTube kind of uh, subscriber hunt that sort of thing and I promise you that if you guys um, come down and I will do my best to be there as often as I can and come and do some hunting with me come and do some hunting with Dylan and Gage from Rock Bluff Outdoors Jerry has also just bought um, a new bow blind. It's a huge, like, 8x8 octagon blind with bow windows and rifle windows. And so it's going to be super, super, super awesome. So you guys, um, you'll want to check it out. Um, just, you know, shoot a message over to Jerry, um, you know, whatever, and, and say, hey, you know, I want to come hunt on these days. Uh, check out your schedule. Come down there. I promise you, you will not regret it. It's It's going to be one of those one of those hunts that you'll remember for the rest of your life and it would be super cool if I could uh, get a big group of you guys down there to do some hunting um, but uh, like I said just let me know now I'd love to uh, meet up with you guys and, and do a big group hunt like that and I know that this video kind of got uh, um, pretty long but I just had so much to say about this this ranch and my experiences and the way everything has been for me it, it's been um, it's been super awesome and so I want you guys to um, shoot Jerry a message, um, look at those price lists, see what you think, and get down there as quick as you can. I know uh, some of you guys have hunted down there before, and you guys that have hunted down there before can attest to um, what it is like, and it is super awesome. I'm not going to uh, blab on and, and talk anymore. I feel like I have... I'm kind of covered it pretty well. 
But of course, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to, to message me on um, Facebook. Feel free to message me on YouTube. Feel free to message me on Instagram. Whatever you want to do, um, leave a comment. Um, I'm, I'll keep track of all the social media. I'll keep up with all of you guys. And we'll figure something out. If you guys want to um, set your stuff up with Jerry, that's that's great. Or if you want to set some stuff up through me, that's great as well. I can relay those messages to Jerry and we can put it together however you guys would like. But I'm very excited to be working with um, Jerry and the Real McCoy Ranch and putting all this together and, and, and getting the word out about this ranch. But if you have not already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have subscribed, Hit the little bells right there, the little ding dongs right next to the subscribe button and make sure you get a notification for every single time that I upload. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, everything. I love talking to you guys. Share these videos. I'm gonna wanna get these videos out to as many people as possible because I wanna be able to share these experiences with everyone and you guys are, um, the support has been unreal. You guys are incredible, thank you so very much. Um, let's try to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Hit that share button. Hit that thumbs up. Do it, do it, do it. Tag me on Instagram. Tag me on Facebook. Tag me on Twitter. So on and so forth. I'll also leave my Twitter linked in the description below. So guys, just do it. Just uh, get it out there. Let's hit 50,000 by the time this year is over. I think we can do that. That's a realistic goal. And let's hit it. Let's blow it out of the water. Let's hit it out of the park. Let's do 50k. Thank you guys so very much. Um, um, I kind of apologize for this video getting so long, but at the same time, um, I don't because I have a lot of information for you guys. But um, be sure to look at everything in the description. Um, let's go hunt the real McCoy together. Let's do it, guys. Go in the description below, go down there, do some hunting, even if you just want to shoot does, whatever you want to do, go down there, do some hunting, you will not regret it. Thank you guys so much for watching, I love each and every one of you, y'all are amazing, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.